Hi guys, it's Miss Becca, and today we are going to do a really fun experiment with some paper towels and some watercolors, and we're going to make giraffe skin. We are learning about zoo animals this week, and today's story was about a giraffe who couldn't dance. So we're going to try and make some giraffe skin. Each giraffe has its own unique pattern on its skin. And so we're going to make a pattern on a paper towel, and we're going to see something called capillary action. Can you guys say that? That's a weird word. Ready? Capillary action. It's actually two words. Capillary means little itty bitty spaces and action. You guys know what an action is, right? It's something that you do or something that happens. So capillary. Let's clap it. Ready? Capillary. That's a really big word. And all it means is that when water gets into a really tight space, it moves on its own. And we're going to wash it with some watercolor paint. Now, I made my own watercolors because I have artist watercolors and they come in tubes like this. But you can use your regular watercolor cakes too. That works just fine. But you need to get it really wet so there's a lot of water in it. I chose to make colors that look like giraffe skin. So my colors are browns and tans and oranges and yellows, but you can use any color you want. You could make a blue and purple giraffe if you wanted to. So you take your paintbrush and you take your paper towel. I covered my surface with a mat that's really easy to clean instead of just my table. You're going to dip your paintbrush in the water and Barely touch it to the paper towel. I'll do it in front so you guys can see. Ready? We're going to barely touch it to the paper towel. But see what happened? My spot got really big. That's way bigger than my paintbrush. Let's try it again. We'll do a different color. I'm going to clean off my paintbrush so I don't mix my colors. And we're going to try the tan this time. Ready? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to tape, choose a spot kind of next to it, and just barely touch it. <sighs> Let's see how many dots we can make. I'm going to clean off my brush again. And let's do orange this time. See, it's happening. We're making our giraffes. And I'm going to use orange again, so I'm not going to clean my brush off, but I'm going to do it on the other side. I think I'm going to use yellow this time. I'm going to do it up here. I think I need a little bit more yellow paint in my water. It's not very bright. This one works really well. Watch. I'm going to touch, the, I'm going to barely touch it. Look how big that spot got. I think this yellowy tan color is one of my favorites. I think it looks the most like giraffe skin. See how those colors spread out? So you can cover your entire paper towel with spots and it is gonna look just awesome. I'll be right back and I'll show you my finished product. A couple more dots and my giraffe skin is going to be all done. Alright, 
there's my giraffe skin. It's all done. And I bet you yours is going to look completely different. And that's okay. Because every giraffe is different. Well, I hope you had fun painting on the paper towels and making giraffe skin. And learning about capillary action. Bye, guys.